I'm a 26 year old college dropout and I have better reading comprehension skills than the professor in the video we're about to watch. Just read the Declaration of Independence that was written by our forefathers in 1776. Um, and you'll understand that this professor is blatantly lying and I really think it, he's intentionally miseducating these students because his life is better. It's to his best interest that these students believe the lies he's spouting because his life will be better. His living conditions will be better. His standard of living is higher because of the lies he convinces these children to believe. Just take a moment to watch the video and I'll explain as we go. One of the things that's pretty obvious to me is that illegal immigration is illegal. I don't know a single country that you can enter without permission and without papers right, and go into that country. All right, let's stop there um, because the, the first thing he says, illegal immigration is illegal. Okay. So we have the right to life, liberty, and happiness pursuit. That's clearly stated in the Declaration of Independence, okay? It's very, very obvious. So to say that traveling from one place to another in order to have a better life, in order to access natural resources that are unavailable or to just move to a safer area that that is not illegal that's called exercising your right to life exercising your right to travel okay and those rights are god-given rights so no <clears throat> so if a government is affecting those rights as he just said you know he states that there's no country on this planet where you can you know exercise your right to travel that just means every country is violating the rights of the innocent and as americans how embarrassing is that like, we can no longer claim to be the defenders of the rights of the innocent because we're violating the rights of the innocent by making immigration illegal, by saying, oh, they've committed a crime, now we can take their rights away, now we can human traffic them back to where they, they came from, you know, so, which human trafficking, you know, that's illegal, it's wrong, it's not okay to take somebody against their will and transport them to somewhere. But I digress. Country somehow and stay even for a short period of time, right? There are crimes on the book that you can't do that. And if you do commit that crime, then you should be arrested and you should, would be sent back to wherever you came from. But for some reason. So you should be arrested for exercising your rights, according to this man. So what this man just said is because the government has made it illegal they're doing something that's wrong. Basically, like the government has legislated these laws without their consent and therefore they are criminals. And th that's garbage, that's wrong. Governments do not get to violate the rights of the innocent without their consent, okay? So just like what happened during World War II in Germany, you know, the government made it illegal to hide Jewish people. Would it have been wrong to hide Jewish people? The only point I'm trying to make here is that a government may not legislate laws that violate the rights of the innocent. And when the government does violate the rights of the innocent, that's called tyranny and oppression. And it's wrong and it's evil and we should do something about it. People who are part of this movement to say we need to do something about immigration, like somehow they get like thrown to the dogs or something like somehow they're bad people like it's easy to look at these folks and say like oh these like racist white people who just hate immigrants maybe they're just talking about legality that people were like shoplifting or stealing bikes on the street or something and they're saying like hey you can't steal that bike it's a crime you can't stealing is a violation of another person's rights right so that that's why you can't steal a bike but traveling is not a violation of anybody's rights. Okay, so like traveling down the street, you are not violating the rights of anybody. Stealing a bike, you are violating the rights of somebody. That's the big difference that this professor hopes you do not realize, hopes you, you fail to recognize. It, it, this guy is a blatant liar, and I really think he understands the lies that he is, he is propagating. Can't enter a country illegally, it's a crime. 
How terrifying is it that an uneducated college dropout understands human rights better than a college professor? Together we are strong.